New at 11 now, Orlando International Airport is expecting a crush of Memorial Day travelers, and it's making adjustments to try to meet their needs. It all starts with the parking. Two airport officials planning to open the West Park Place economy lot on Tradeport Drive, freeing up thousands more spaces for passengers. The update comes the day after Visit Florida announced tourism is up 6.7% over a year ago, with a record of nearly 38 million travelers so far this year. News 6's Troy Campbell is live at Orlando International Airport tonight, speaking with some of those travelers. Troy, what do they say? Matt, we spoke with some early travelers who say they were thankful to get out of town before the airport gets too busy this weekend. This, as the airport officials say, they are also doing what they can to alleviate parking issues for Central Floridians looking to get out of town. That was pretty easy and smooth right now, so I'm sure it's going to be crazy come tomorrow. Janice Meyerhofer is traveling to Pennsylvania for a wedding this weekend. It's always jam packed and hard to find a spot. You have to go to like the 10th level to find parking. So we always give ourselves plenty of time because we know we've learned our lesson here. Meyerhofer isn't alone. Orlando International Airport predicts more than 1 million travelers will pass through the airport this weekend. The airport plans to open the West Park Place parking lot on Tradeport Drive, providing an additional 3,000 parking spots for the busy Memorial Day weekend. This past spring break, airport officials urged passengers to get a ride to the airport instead of driving. After all of the parking lots reached capacity before the weekend, Donna Caradiz says she's returning home to Central Florida before the holiday rush. Anxious, anxiety, because you know when you get to the airport, TSA is about a 45 minutes wait as well. So. Yeah, so you got to be prepared. Carity suggests all travelers arrive to the airport early. Nightmare. Could not find a parking. Literally, it took me 45 minutes to get a parking. So, and everybody else was having the same issues. People went somewhere else to park. There was no parking. Came back here. And again, airport officials urge everyone before you actually drive yourself to the airport to fly out of town, check their website, check their social media to see if any of their parking lots are already at capacity. Live in Orlando tonight, Troy Campbell, getting results, News 6.